Hey guys, welcome to another creative tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over just three simple buttons here on the top. Uh, the erase button, the lock alpha, and um, the reload presets. So when you're, oh, let me get to the right tool here. When you're drawing, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's great, whatever. You want to erase it, you can either just click that little button there and erase to your heart's content. Or you can hit the E key and erase, which is just the hotkey, just the letter E. You can toggle it on and off. And that way, if you don't want to switch to the eraser brush itself, you can just save yourself a little bit of time by using the hotkey. Especially if you're doing like some fine line work like this, you're like, oh, well, I want to erase just a little bit. And then the Preserve Alpha is kind of like preserving the alpha over and your layers, except it does it for every single layer. So let me change this to like a pink. So as you can see, I'm locking the alpha for the entire image, and I can just color um, on top of what is already there. And there's nothing done to this layer at all. So let me unlock that, and I can show you here as well. Change this to like a blue. Let's turn that back on. So, on this layer, it's only affecting that content, and in this layer, it's only affecting this. Which is pretty neat, that way you don't have to worry about the layer settings, it's just one click, one button. And then the last is the uh, revert to or reload presets button. And this is for your brushes. So, this uh, is a custom brush that I made, just like a specific size and a little bit of a different setting for like the strokes. And right now it's at size 256, when it usually is around three, three and a half or something like that. So instead of like dragging this down to try and get as close to as possible to that number, or maybe my opacity is down low, or I have a different a quick setting I've chosen here, if I hit this button, everything reverts right back to my settings. So the opacity goes back to 100%, the size goes back to, goes back to 3.33. Which is what I said it at, just, just for no particular reason. And I can go back to drawing. And that's really nice to, um, when you're working on your your work, like, oh man, I didn't want to, I used the wrong brush. You can just go, oh well, I'll just refresh it. It goes right back to it. Works for the pre made brushes and your own custom brushes. And that's really it for those three buttons. They're just short little things that make life a little bit easier. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry this video was kind of short, but I think that's okay. I think it'll work out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you're um, not missing any future videos. And follow me on all my social media accounts. And if you really like my content and you want to support me, consider donating to my Patreon or a one-time uh, donation to my coffee. All links in the description below. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video.